Welcome to Being Dev. Today we'll learn about looping of arrays in JavaScript and how we should do it according to functional programming approach. So mostly what we do is we use for loop, but what is suggested is using these functions for each map filter reduce that are available in array prototype. Okay, so this is the JavaScript that I have written. I've used DOM content loaded event over here what it does is something similar to document document dot ready of jquery so all my dom elements will be uh, loaded before the javascript will begin as i'm using inner html and rendering html inside the javascript so that is required in this case so this is the basic for loop that we write let's say we come back to this code after 100 days and then we try to debug it or understand what it is doing so we'll have to see for i and then length and then the increment how everything is happening and then the condition and then what arr is in the first place so there are a lot of things that we'll have to go through to get the basic idea of what this for loop is doing on the other hand we have for each just by looking at for each we know that it will iterate through the whole array okay so we have options to use element itself its index and the complete array inside of the function then we have map what map does is it returns another element in place of the original element according to the return value like in this case e0 will be converted to minus 18 celsius and then obj it sets the value of this inside the function then we have filter see the name itself suggests it, it is filtering through the array so you don't have to think about what it is doing and stuff like that and then we have reduce what reduce does is it, it reduces the array to a single value in this case we are getting the sum of the array okay see uh, in this we have previous value as the first argument so we can set the previous value for the first time the loop occurs as the current element will be 1 and the pre previous value will not be there so it will be 0 by default but you can set it something else as well if 10 then see this 45 being changed to 55 yes okay see the thing is JavaScript being a functional programming language, we need to use these functions. Just the name itself suggests what is the purpose of the loop. For each, just loop through the elements for a particular function. Map, it returns a function according to the return value. Filter, it returns the element if the return value is true, otherwise nothing at its place. And then reduce so we know what it does so each function has its own purpose and that is just clear by reading the name of it if you have any question about this just post it in the comment